I would have a drink with, uh, with Odysseus, I think. Um, maybe I'd make him a hot toddy because it seems like he would need one. And uh, we would talk about him. I think, I think his life might be more interesting than my one. I mean, I will say that even though I, I deeply admire um, the best of their work, there are times in, say, um, in Conrad and, uh, and there was someone else that was coming to mind. I mean, certainly Forster as well. But who was it that I was thinking? Oh, Faulkner. It's very, it's very uncool to not like Faulkner, but I think in all three of those writers, uh, there are times when they're so purple and boring. Um, but when they're on and when they're at their best, they're uh, incomparable. So I guess it balances itself out. You know, um, Invisible Man, by Ralph Allison. Um, I think it's a wonderful book, so much energy, so much verve, but there's not enough sex in it. And there's one scene where he's, I think he's being interviewed actually, by a female journalist who might be a, um, a communist as well. And now I'm potentially confusing things. But I wish that the tension that had been um, certainly opened up uh, in that chapter had been expanded upon in one or more chapters to come. So without seeming like a, a sleazebag, I think I might, you know, pursue that particular track of tension a little further. Who was it that said, this book should not be set aside lightly, it should be thrown across the room with great force? I always thought that would be an excellent blurb actually, but uh, maybe not one that you would want on your own book. I can't remember who that was. Oh, where to begin? My goodness, you know, magisterial. Um, all of them, basically. Poignant, lyrical, moving, unputdownable. Uh, you know, pretty much any typical superlative that you might expect a book reviewer to use. Um, and I think the good ones actually husband their words and their praise, or their superlatives anyway, uh, very carefully, so that uh, when they do use a, a big word, it actually has some weight to it. Well, I just read um, Vasily Grossman's Everything Flows, and it's, it's kind of unfair to pick out that book because it was, it was unfinished. Um, and despite the fact that some of it is extraordinary, you know, one chapter has the best account of famine I think I've read in literature. Um, there are tracks in that book which are pretty dry and uh, were a bit tough to get through. I guess often moronic perseverance would be one. Um, the ability to spend more than half of your day with uh, elastic waistbanded soft material garments would be another. Um, the ability to be um, to be a bit of a bastard, I guess, to, to yourself, to friends and family. I can't remember who it was, but someone said, um, you know, every time a real writer is born into a family, the family is destroyed. Maybe a sense of humour to, to offcut that destruction. Um, and, you know, a taste for the, the less material life, because uh, chances are um, 
materially your, your life won't be all that rich. I don't know, because everything I, everything I think of on the spot, the, uh, the slog, the uh, doubt, the darkness, uh, are also things that I, that I like in writing. Um, Maybe the bullshit, you know, there's a lot of bullshit, but there's bullshit everywhere.